Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Risa and I love sharing all things Disney. My husband Alex and I recently discovered the pure magic of a Disney cruise, so we hopped on another one. But this time we brought my parents along for the ride on this seven day Eastern Caribbean cruise on the Disney Fantasy. Good morning. It is day four here on the Disney Fantasy. We have just arrived to Tortola, and oh my goodness, the view is spectacular. We have not docked yet, so we can see the island across the way, and our room is right by the captain's balcony, I guess you could say. And so we saw them this morning. They were all there just standing by the window, obviously making sure that we can dock safely and over here to the other side is the sunrise but oh my goodness it is so beautiful and we just woke up opened the windows and saw this and we were just so amazed so today is our port day here in Tortola we will be getting off soon and exploring the little town and then we have an excursion off to a private beach so we'll take you along for the ride today I hope you enjoy Hello everybody, I am back and ready for the day. We're going to head to breakfast at the cabanas. Then we're going to hop off the boat to explore the island of Tortola for a little bit. So we'll see you at breakfast and then head off the boat to explore a bit. Okay, we have made it to the cabanas. We're fueling up for our journey to explore the island. We're gonna explore just a bit, then we're gonna come back, get dressed in our swimwear, and then head to our excursion. I'm so excited for our excursion. It's supposed to be a beautiful island. We're gonna have a fun beach day, and we'll see you there. As we hopped off the boat and made our way into the island of Tortola, we were greeted by very welcoming locals and vibrant, colorful shops. So we have made it on in to the island. We are here at a little booth boutique grabbing mom a cover up. She forgot to bring her bathing suit cover up. So she's getting a nice little white crochet cover up here. It was 25, but she bargained down to 20. So just a little tip here, you can bargain. I wouldn't say bargain too low. They're trying to earn their money here, but very cute little side booths right here. We're gonna make our way down further, see what else we can find. So lots of little souvenirs, t-shirts, cover ups everywhere, hats and visors. It's very windy. Alex is going rogue he's trying to see what he can find oh there's actually more shops over here wow and there's a very beautiful view over here i think that's what alex is trying to get he wants to get some nice pictures of the island so we're just gonna roam around browse peruse and then head back to the ship for our excursion Alrighty guys, I think we're going to head back to the ship. We explored as much as we could. There really isn't much other than little shops and then you can opt to take a taxi to the edge of the water or you can opt to take a little taxi tour around the town which both things we opted not to do because we already have an excursion booked through Disney which is going to take us to a private little island. So we're very excited about that. We're gonna head back, get changed and then head over to our excursion. We then hopped back on the boat to enjoy the views and a very empty basketball court. Alrighty guys, we are back in our stateroom to change for our excursion but I wanted to show you this view. It is so picturesque, especially through this porthole. It looks like an actual picture. It reminds me of the movie Luca. I know this isn't like the Italian Riviera or anything, but it is so beautiful. I cannot get over it. So, so pretty. 
we then headed back to the cabanas to enjoy the view and a delicious meal before we headed out for our excursion. All right, guys, we are here at Cabanas yet again, our favorite place today because we're eating quick today before we head over to our excursion to Jost Van Dyke Island. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. I have got a salad, some fried codfish, and then we're gonna head out to another boat that will take us to the private little beach that is hopefully beautiful. People keep saying private. It's not private, it's just hard to get to. It's not private, yeah, it's not private. It's just, yeah, you have to take a boat to get there. But we're gonna take a boat and head on over. We'll see you there. Okay, we are off the boat. We are currently in line with our excursion group. We're waiting to get on this taxi boat and head on over to Jost Island to have a nice beach day. We then walked over to our taxi boat where everyone was anxious to see if my mother could hop on. We found the perfect spot at the front of the boat where we had the most spectacular view. We also got splashed along the way, but it was so, so fun. We finally made it, but we have a bus ride to the beach now. So we're gonna get on the bus, head to the beach, and then we'll see you there. So we have gotten on our taxi. It's actually a truck. And because my mother over here is, you know, a fragile woman, we got to cut the line <laughs> and sit inside the truck. So we're on our way. Oh my goodness, this is a steep road. Wow, look at the views though on the way up. This is surely an excursion, guys. I did not know that it was going to be this remote, but the ride over here was beautiful. And we're going to have about two hours to relax on the beach. So we'll see what that looks like once we get there. Wow, now we are headed down this hill and the views are beautiful. This hill is very steep. And just like that, we have arrived. It is quite windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But look at how blue this water is. It is beautiful. We're just gonna lounge in some chairs, enjoy the views. We have two drink tickets, so we're gonna get two drinks and sip some pina coladas on the beach. Alrighty, it is time to buy a drink and relax on the beach. So we're here looking, perusing, trying to find some worthy drinks to take to our beach chair and relax. We are on the lookout for a drink. We're going to this bar area over here to see if we can find something. Alex says there's like this famous drink called the painkiller that he wants to get and also a pina colada. You have to have a pina colada on the beach. So let's see what we can find. This is a cute little area. There's some hammocks here to lay on. Very cute. This is also a super cute little bar. It's called the Soggy Dollar Rum and Snack Shack. All right, so apparently this is an island favorites. It's called the Painkiller. So let's give this a shot. It tastes like a pina colada, so I love it. Alrighty, time for my taste test. Let's try this. It smells cinnamony. Like they put cinnamon on the top. Tastes like a pina colada, but it's good. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to relax now. Enjoy our drink by the ocean. And we'll see you back at the stateroom. Who knows what we'll do then, but we're gonna get our evening started once we get back to the ship. We then sipped on our drinks, took in the sun, and enjoyed the beautiful ocean waves. Say hi!
Alrighty guys, it was a beautiful beach day, but it is time to go and head back to the ship. We are so, so hungry. We're going to go to the pool deck and get some pizza, and then we'll see where the night takes us. On our way back, we enjoyed a very bumpy ride, but we also enjoyed some spectacular ocean views. The sunset on our way back to the ship was absolutely marvelous. Then we hopped back on the ship for a quick post-beach lunch. Hello, we're finally back on the ship in our stateroom. We just got back from Tomaters. We had a quick bite to eat because we have dinner in two hours. Fun fact, we were the last people to get back on the ship. The ship was literally waiting for our party to board so they could leave. So long story short, our excursion ran longer than expected, I guess you could say. Not even that, it was the right amount of time, but the transportation from the beach to the port took longer than usual, and then the taxi boat took longer than expected to arrive to pick us back up. So we ended up getting back to the ship at around 5.50, but by the time we all got back on the ship, it was around 6.25. We were supposed to be like on boarded, ready to go at 5.45. So we were pretty late and the whole staff was waiting for us when we came back, ready to get us on because the whole boat was literally waiting for us to leave. So yeah, very crazy experience. The taxi boat was going like full speed ahead. It was like bumping up and down. Somebody threw up, it was really bad. But the beach experience was beautiful. Highly recommend it. Hopefully you don't have the same experience as we do. We we were like the latest group to go to the beach. So if you do this excursion, do an earlier time during the day so you don't get stuck in the same situation that we were in. But overall, great experience. So much fun, we met so many fun people. But yes, that was our fun afternoon. We are now reaching the evening portion of our day today. I'm going to get out of this bathing suit, take a shower, get ready for dinner tonight. It is pirate night, so we're going to dress up in our pirate outfits and have so much fun. We're going to the Enchanted Garden, and we'll see you there. Ahoy, mateys! It is I, Pirate Teresa. <laughs> it is us, Pirate Teresa and Pirate Alex, because tonight is pirate, pirate night. <laughs> I can't stand Alex's little ears. These are actually kids' ears. Hey, 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 hey. But they fit him just fine. I mean, it's actually oversized. I have, I have all this slack right now. Wow. I, I think I have a tiny head. Yeah, you do have a small head. <laughs> but look, we're ready for pirate night. Arr. And we're going to the Enchanted Garden for dinner. It's going to be a fun, boisterous night with the pirates. We shall see what happens tonight at dinner. But we are very excited. We're all themed, as you can tell. And. We'll see you there. <laughs> Can you hear the music? Yo, oh, ho, yo, yo, ho, 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 a pirate's oh. life for me. We made our way down to deck three, where we're gonna take a little pirate-themed photo picture. And then we're gonna head to dinner, but I wanna take more pictures. I don't know, we'll see. We're running out of time, because there's also fireworks tonight. Oh yeah, fireworks! Ah! I know, so much to do. I know. So little time. <laughs> Pirate Night began, we were greeted by a very silly pirate Goofy, pirate Minnie and Mickey, and a very boisterous serving team. made it inside the Enchanted Garden. We were greeted by all of these server pirates, as you saw earlier. It was quite rambunctious and fun, and we got one of each appetizer as usual. We have a samosa, some shrimp and cocktail sauce. We have some kind of carpaccio, and then we have fried fish of some sort, crab cake. So we've got a lot to try. Alex has already tried a few things, so he'll give you his review. Arr, I will continue doing that all night. 
Uh, the shrimp we've had before, we actually had all this here before on our previous cruise. Shrimp was great. The bread with the mango sauce is really, really good. Some of my favorite. I don't remember the samosa, so I'll give it a shot and see what that tastes like. Also, I got upgraded to a bandana. Anyways, <laughs> we'll let you know how it all goes. Alrighty, I'm gonna try this samosa. This is new. Mmm, it's got like potatoes in it. It's kind of spicy. I like it. So next up is our main course. We'll update you once we get all of that. And there's supposed to be some kind of show tonight, so we'll see what that fuss is about. received our desserts. I forgot to review our main dishes. I got the veal. It was good. It didn't taste like veal. It wasn't super gamey, but it wasn't bad. It was good. We're moving on to desserts. We got one of each thing as usual. We got the bounty fruit cobbler, bananas in paradise, rum soaked chocolate cake. Alex is gonna give you a review because he's already tasted all of these. I'm missing two desserts, but this caramel one, which I'm assuming is the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart, is incredible. I have a feeling nothing here will come close to it. So lately I've been a caramel guy. Anyways, give them a shot, see what you think. Okay, I'm gonna try this caramel cheesecake of some sort. And Risa's blocking my access to this other dessert. Totally that's good. Oh, it's good. This is banana? Yeah. Oh, it is banana. It looks like chocolate, but it's banana. It's good. I gotta say, look, mama, when she's eating, she has very limited movement. She's usually like this. <laughs> Boom, right here, confined. Focused. When the dessert comes out, her alter ego comes out, also known as the clown. <laughs> You gotta watch it. She gets like eight arms all of a sudden. She's just boom, 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 boom. Her range of motion extends. So that's it for the desserts. We're going to eat all of our desserts up and then head to... Fireworks photos, your battery's dying, so, and we cut now. <laughs> so we are back in our room and of course there is some towel art. This is actually blanket art. It's made out of our throw blanket. And I'm pretty sure it's some type of octopus. Alex said it reminded him of Ursula, which is very true. It does look like Ursula. <laughs> and it has gold coins for eyes. And then right here, this gold coin says, Dead men tell no tales. Very thematic to Pirate Night. So as the night came to an end, we said our goodnights to a few more pirate characters as we made our way to the pool deck for an evening showing of Ever After. We found the perfect viewing spot for the fireworks show. It was an absolutely perfect ending to our beautiful day out at the beach and a fun evening of pirate activities. We absolutely love this part of the cruise. Nothing is more magical than watching a Disney fireworks show on the most magical cruise you could be on. I enjoyed every second of this showing with my parents for the very first time and I know you will too if you hop on a Disney cruise one day as well. Thank you so much for watching day four of our Disney fantasy cruise. I hope you enjoy and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Bye guys.